significant other. Hey, you guys, make sure you go into all these different rooms and see this fabulous artwork. It's amazing, all the talent that's in the South Bay. And uh, we appreciate uh, Athena and Christian and all of the team that's gone into so much, put so much work into uh, putting this event on, especially the volunteers. We know all about volunteers at Dillon Fest, and so this event couldn't go on without volunteers at the school. So thank you so much.
Thank you, Terrence. Thank you, That's from our CD Many Miles to get a nice, nice break. Well, back in 2005, our illustrious singer of the California Cupcake, Renee Safier, was the recipient of the prestigious Solo Blues Artist of the Year Award from the Telluride, Colorado Blues Festival. And, uh, yeah, it was quite something. Shook the, uh, the airways, the foundation of the Torrance uh, Redondo area. And, uh, it, she sent away her, her demo with, uh, along with 862 other entrants and six of those people were, were chosen as finalists and they all got to play in front of a group of curmudgeonly judges and they got to do three songs, two of their own choosing and then all six of them had to do their own version of Robert Johnson's blues classic Sweet Home Chicago uh, which put our her heroine in a bit of a pickle. What was the nature of that pickle, Renee? I didn't know how that song went, Andy. <laughs> so how did you uh, extricate yourself from that pickle? Well, I decided to go back to the history books, you know, what would Howlin' Wolf do? What would Muddy Waters do? I mean, yeah. what would Robert Johnson do if he hadn't heard his own song before he wrote it? Well, they would go to the internet, that's what they'd do, and they'd download a bunch of versions of that song. And so, Danny, that's exactly what I did. I went to the internet, I downloaded a bunch of versions, all different, because as you know, in blues songs, you know, they have the same chord progression often, but even within the same title song, they'll have a lot of different lyrics. And I found that a uh, curious thing was that blues musicians like math. Yes, I mean the chord progression is one, four, five, which does include numbers, that is math. But they like to liken uh, relationships to, to math, like, you know, one and one is two, two and two is four, come on baby, can I have some more, that kind of thing. So um, I, uh, I heard one version by uh, you know, the great guitar player, Eric Clapton, you've heard of him, right? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, he, he loves the blues, Andy, and but the guy can't add. Like, I hate to say it out loud, but it's true. Um, in his version, he said, one and one is two, two and four is eight. Come on, baby, won't you make me late? Now, I don't know if any of you guys went to school in the Torrance school system, but if you did, you surely know that two and four is not eight. It is, thank you very much. Well, two you, people yelled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth grade was a tough year. Advanced math. Yeah. It's clearly. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I thought that was just me slapingly hilarious, and uh, I, I, I talked Andy, Andy into thinking it was funny too. So we decided that if he could get away with that kind of egregious math mistake, we could write some stupid lyrics, taking it old school math, all the way back to the Greeks, and uh, do our own version of Sweet Home Chicago. So that's what we're going to offer up for you here today. Listen and learn, there will be a quiz. <laughs> 